Do you know what is and is not included in the sale of a house? Keep watching to find out. Before you put an offer down on a home, it's important to understand just exactly is staying and what is being taken with the seller. In Texas, the contracts usually state that a sale of a home includes the physical house, any improvements, and any fixtures attached to the home. With my clients, a general rule of thumb that I give them is that anything that is permanently fixed into the home is staying with it. A few of the top items that stay with the home when it's being sold are including, but not limited to, window treatments and shutters, garage door openers, the landscaping and shrubbery, wall-to-wall -wall flooring, and ceiling fans. Items that are not included that the seller usually will take with them include things like televisions, furniture throughout the house, such as beds, tables, couches, things that are not attached, such as patio grills, patio furniture, and art decor, things like paintings and pictures and other things that can be easily taken off and packed away. There are exceptions to every rule, so usually the rule of thumb is whether it's freestanding or not determines whether it is included. Certain items will stay or go depending on whether they are freestanding or built-in. For example, a roll-away grill on a patio would be considered a seller's property still versus the built-in grill with the kitchenette on the extended patio that is an improvement and part of the property. Freestanding things such as refrigerators, washers, and dryers are also one of the many things that can be negotiated and are not always included with the purchase. So it's always best to confirm with the seller's agent just exactly is included with the property. So what happens when you fall in love with the home, but you also fall in love with the rug in the living room? Well, as a realtor, everything is negotiable. If you're interested in something such as a furniture piece, the patio furniture, a rug, we can definitely add that into writing to see if that is something the seller is willing to add into the contract. Every situation is different, so it's important to always understand, to always ask before ruling out any scenario. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below, hit the like button, and also subscribe for more real estate updates from me. Thanks guys.